So it's not controlled. It's decentralized. It's a digital asset. But is it money? Anything can be money. Um, as long as it's agreed upon, upon by enough people. Trading cards can be money. Back in the day, um, beads and gems were money. Gold, silver, uh, U.S. dollars, euros, uh, Chinese yuan. Anything can be money if enough people agree to it. So, yes, it is a form of money. Um, okay. Well, I need to interrupt for one thing, though, because you said anything can be money if enough people agree to it. Now, it seems to me like not a lot of people are agreeing that cryptocurrency is money right now. So is it money yet? It is. And that's changing rapidly. So I first heard about Bitcoin probably 2013, 2014 time frame when I was working on an investment newsletter. And the uh, guy I was working with, the guy who hired me, he was talking to me about this cryptocurrency and the Bitcoin and how he bought Bitcoin and was going up a ton. And I was like, oh, I, just, I just didn't understand it um, at that point. And <laughs> that was a mistake on my part um, because I didn't invest in because I didn't understand this. But having said that, you should understand cryptos to a degree if you're going to invest in them. Not every single nuance, not everything about the blockchain, not everything about decentralized finance, all the stuff we're going to probably talk about today, but you should at least understand the basics. It can be used as money. That's rapidly changing. Um, companies like, um, to illustrate that, companies like this is for another investment newsletter. Companies like Visa, MasterCard, American Express um, are allowing cryptocurrency transactions now on many of their cards. Um, they're partnering with uh, platforms, various platforms to do this. And so if you have, let's say, 100 uh, Bitcoin or $100 worth of Bitcoin. Right. Hi, puppy. <laughs> in, in your, on your crypto-backed uh, Visa card, for example, you can use that to buy stuff now to your point it's pretty limited up to this point that is changing rapidly you can now I just read it like last week for another investment site i write for that visa it was visa and mastercard were partnering with various companies including big ones like apple and amazon to allow visa and mastercard backed cryptocurrency cards sorry that's a mouthful that's okay. To allow purchases on their platforms at some to be determined time. That it's starting to happen now, but it's not happening in mass yet. Okay, so I have so many questions now. First is that if I get a card like that and I can use my crypto, I'm not sure would it be smart for me to do so. 